Sir Mark Rowley, the head of the Metropolitan Police, has hit back at a suggestion that was made that the Just Stop Oil uh, protesters and the pro-Palestine Palestine demonstrators should pay for their own policing. Uh, they say patrolling football matches cost them at over £18 million last year. That's a real cost. Rowley is referring to legislation that means clubs are only expected to pay a fee for policing inside the stadium and on their land. So that excludes things like officers on horseback outside the grounds. It means the Premier League pays only a fraction of policing costs, less than 4% in previous years. Now, I do find that shocking. Mm. I do go to football matches. I see the mounted police outside the greatest club in the world, Chelsea, Stamford Bridge. <laughs> I see them at Fulham Broadway Station, keeping the fans apart. They are needed in those places. It's not just about standing on the forecourt. And much as I love Chelsea, much as I love the Premier League, 18 million quid to the Premier League is a rounding error. I think there are six exactly. Premier League clubs in London. It's about three million pounds a piece. I've always wondered why the Met Police don't charge. They are there to police an event which is making these clubs a lot of money. It's not a public event. The fans are paying for their tickets. Obviously, we love football in this country, but they should be paying the police to do the job that they have to do because sometimes, unfortunately, their fans behave in ways that are completely unacceptable. Well, so doesn't this come off the back of a High Court uh, judgment which said the police should own... The police have to patrol and, and police the external parts of that and the clubs are responsible for the internal aspects yeah. of that security. Yeah. But then it's equally... It, I'll, I'll play devil's advocate. It, you know, it's a national sport, people are having a great time, lots of people involved. Shouldn't we be paying that? Why are we paying tax if we're not paying for policing? Yeah, well. But then you look at, say, rugby matches, they don't need anywhere near as much policing. The problem we have that's a good is, point. yeah, it's the groups of people who are going to football matches exactly. to cause trouble. The guys have worked all week and want to get their anger out and have too many drinks. The Premier League know that trouble happens to football matches. Mm. So when you've got, um, say, Arsenal versus Spurs, they move those games earlier in the day, so there's less drinking time for the football fans. Oh, is so, that why they do it? Yeah. I so, always learn something on this show. So they call those, <laughs> those are called high-risk games. I thought that was just because the TV companies. No, did. so they move them earlier in the day, oh. so this, yeah, exactly. But the Premier League will make more money if that game is shown at a later time of the day because Premier League is shown around the world. So if they can show that game at 8pm on a Saturday night, perfect. America can watch it. Other countries across the world can watch it. You see how and nice I am, cash JJ, and all you can do is be rude about the way I re read my also. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I said Palestine... Palestine. <laughs> so sometimes, Palestine. sometimes the auto-cue gets you. <laughs> it's called auto -cueitis. What am I meant to do? But, but, JJ, I'm not sure whether you're, yeah. set, you're agreeing with Mark Rowley that it's unfair that... The it's police... unfair. Yeah. It's unfair. £48 million a year is what it costs for all professional football, football matches. So it's not just Premier League. Yeah. If you've got... Uh, League One. Yeah, there South might be minor teams, whatever, yeah. but if they've got a big beat Millwall fans, Millwall. Yeah. Maybe so no how much should they pay then? The whole thing? Yes. So you reckon? Yeah, I, I think, think so. I think 100%. so. Yeah. For the money that these these clubs yeah. are making, the Premier League is making, it's a drop in the ocean for them. I do. You know, uh, this is a slightly bigger topic, which I'm doing right at the end of the segment. But I think that <laughs> I, I have absolutely no problem, by the way, with private companies paying the Met. For example, if you are going to sell Ferraris in London, and lots of Ferraris get nicked. Why don't Ferrari pay for a specialist police unit that's going to track the thieves who nick their cars? Oh, Ed, but then you're going to have Prince oh. Harry saying, Discuss. why don't you pay for security? Yeah, We've only got 30 yeah. seconds late. Yeah, well, we'll <laughs> have Prince Harry. <laughs> Will Prince Harry pay for security? Pay for the Met to protect him? No. No. You can't have Ferrari doing it and say that Prince Harry can't. No. Lord But then, Basel, but then maybe you idea. can't have Premier League clubs doing it either. We, we're already paying. Oh, we JJ, paid you've painted yourself million. into a corner now. <laughs> you've just <laughs> literally contradicted yourself in four minutes. <laughs> Quick, go to break, go to break. <laughs> yes, let's go to break, shall we? <laughs>